Welcome guys to a special walkthrough of the original Metroid for the NES and I'm Mike A10 so this is a game that I grew up with like others and you know my love for the NES here and um, took me a while to originally beat it um, well let's read the emergency order defeat the Metroid of the planet Zeth and destroy the mother brain the mechanical life vein by the Galaxy Federal Police Alright, so, let's start a new game and get into it. We materialize... ...in this location. So this first video, I'm basically gonna... ...set up the game, set up the walkthrough... ...it'll serve as an introduction. This item right here is the Marumari. You want to get that right away, because it enables you to do this. And now you can roll through small places. I have a t-shirt that shows Sam is standing here about to grab that and it says, this is how I roll. Get it? Haha. <laughs> I'm very proud of my t-shirt. These guys are zoomers and these guys are called Scree. I'm not going to remember the name of every creature, but those I do remember. Because we see a lot of them. Mostly because they're right in the beginning of the game. Everybody usually remembers them. So I don't uh, intend for this to be an extremely long walkthrough um, compared to others. We shouldn't have to do too many videos out of this because it really won't take all that long time-wise to complete the game, but what I will try and do is get as many of the power-ups as I can to show you, at least the important ones, um, and I'll try to get all of the, uh, as many of the missiles as I can, because especially if you're new to the game, they will be very helpful to you towards the end and uh, pretty much ha getting all the items will be helpful to you too. There will be a point where we have to make a weapon related decision but that is much later on and I will tell you about when we get there. These guys I... Uh, the, the name of these guys, uh, I think they're called Ripper. I think that's, yeah, their name is Ripper. I was gonna have to get back to that. Um, figure that out and tell us next time. So basically, the idea of this game, for a little background, if I may, uh, I usually like to give a little bit of background story, not that NES games provide you with that much, but at least not that much compared to later adaptations or later games made. But um, as far as uh, the manual kind of tells you, Samus Aran, or Samus Aran, however you want to pronounce it, is a is a bounty hunter essentially. And so basically, what's going on is a species creature, a new species of creature called Metroid was discovered on a planet, uh, undiscovered planet, well, now discovered, but unexplored planet, SR388, and uh, it was uh, discovered that these uh, Metroids uh, possess power to basically uh, suck the life out of a living creature, for lack of a better way to put it. And, uh, So basically, the Galactic Federation found them, and they got one as a sample, and their ship was attacked by space pirates, and the Metroid was stolen, and they brought it back here to their base on planet Zebus. I say Zebus, the manual and the beginning of the game says Zebeth with a TH. And 
That's the only place I've seen it spelled that way. Some people say Zebes. I'll probably continue to say Zebus because that's just how I used to pronounce it growing up. Anyway, not that that's greatly important. But, so, Space Pirates have their base here, and we have to infiltrate it like we just did, and we have to basically find all the Metroids and destroy them because they are actually cloning the Metroids. And then we have to destroy the Mother Brain at the end, because that's the creature that is basically controlling this whole base. In order to d get to Torian, the last area of the game where the Mother Brain is and where the Metroids are, we have to unlock a bridge. And that bridge can be unlocked by defeating two mini-bosses, which are Krad and Ridley. So that will be our objectives to find and destroy those, those two, and and then get to the final area of the game. And if you've played pretty much any other Metroid game before, you will be familiar with Ridley. So, while I was telling that story, I was gradually making my way towards this first, uh, well, second rather, power-up that we need to get, which are the missiles. So, the intended path that the program was intended you to take brings you here, because you can't really get anywhere else without getting missiles at this point. Once you get missiles, you can see I have five in the top left corner. Once you get those missiles, um, oh my goodness, you can start unlocking uh, certain doors. And I will show you those doors shortly. And a lot of people like to do speed runs of this game. I'm not a. I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna. I've done it before, but I'm not gonna do it here because I uh, don't feel like rushing through everything. I'm gonna. I mean, uh, I'm gonna. We're gonna get the most out of uh, this playthrough of this game without without uh, drawing it on too long. So I'm gonna try and get as many of the power ups I can without making this an extremely long playthrough. I just feel, you know, we should do this game enough justice to not just blast through it like crazy. So I'm heading back up this way. And uh, the area of Zebus that we are in right now is called Brinstar. Each area has different names. Well, there's a few different names of places. Not too many. Not too many zones. Ooh! And I'm gonna go in here next. So you know, you see the music has changed, it's a different, uh, the scenery changes a little bit again. Got some of these, uh, st rather strong enemies, I'm not gonna mess around with them too much. I can technically use my missiles on these creatures, but I don't want to waste them because I need them. I need them for this door. You see a red door? You have to hit select change you into missile mode, and you have to hit it with five missiles. Boom, like that. And then you enter, and you find this this Chaz, Ch uh, Chozo statue. Chozo is an ancient civilization that built on these planets in the Metroid universe, and if you shoot this orb, it's got a power-up. The L represents long beam. So now you can see I have a long beam that goes the distance of the uh, the room. I recommend getting that power up first after you get the Marumari or ball as we will probably call it from this point on and after you get the missiles. Okay, if you go up from here, you'll get to the entrance to Torian. Um, but we're not going to go there just yet. 